So recently I did a video, it was about a glove where you couldn't cut yourself if you were wearing the glove. They didn't call it like uncuttable, but it was cut resistant. I went at it with a knife and while it was on my hand, it was true. I had a sharp knife and I wasn't cutting through the material. <laughs> But of course, the immediate thought afterwards, why has this material not been used in other products? When of course, I got an email from this company called Loctote Industrial Bag Company. These guys have used a material similar to that. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but something that's incredibly cut resistant in a bag. Kind of like a backpack, a couple of straps on it. But even a step further with this one in the sense that the straps themselves are also uncuttable, cut resistant. And then the lock that keeps everything tied together allows you to kind of strap this to something. I'm saying you're at the beach, you're at a resort, maybe you're at school, in the cafeteria, so on. You can kind of leave this thing with your stuff in it locked to an object that can't move. That's the idea, I don't know. I wanted to let you guys know if it's the real deal, if it even works. The uncuttable bag, oh my goodness, Lewis. Just a quick update for you. Back in September, we filmed on ABC's Shark Tank. Oh my goodness. Yeah, boy. You guys know, this the real Shark Tank is here. We'll be sending our newest bag to you this week. It's a limited edition color and pattern made with a fabric we develop, flak knit. Some of the features, locks shut and can attach to a fixed object, slash resistant, abrasion resistant, tear resistant, water resistant, RFID blocking interior pocket, okay. Little tech for you in here. Glow in the dark camo fabric, glow in the dark. If you don't wanna get your bag stolen and maybe you don't have one of these, buy the ugliest color you possibly can. No one can steal it because you're gonna see them from a mile away. We hope you like it, Lock Tote team. All right, thank you. Oh, this tells me how to use it. I think it's pretty straightforward, but anyway, padlock instructions. Even the shipping bag is kind of cool. Whoa, oh. First things first, this is a lot more heavy duty. Whoa, this is actually kind of cool. A little pocket here, which holds the lock, and that just fits into here when the bag is in use. Pull that tight, and then this is the strap right here, see? So when you pull it to its full extension, you get these little grommets here, and that's what allows you to then go ahead back with your lock. Now let's assume that this strap right here is wrapped around a post. You would lock this here. You can't get inside the top. Pretty straightforward actually, but it's pretty big. I mean, you could fit, you could do some clothing in there, your books for sure. There is a zippered section in there. It's also RFID, so you can put your wallet or your cards in there. And then there's also this big carabiner style clip so you could have your keys in there as well. I have to admit, the quality is, is greater than what I expected, but wait, if this strap is locked around some object, why not just snip the strap? But the strap itself, I can feel right now a metal braiding in there. Let's go see what's going on here. Okay, so I can cut the fabric, see that? So I just end up with this metal here. This isn't gonna completely stop somebody, but the goal is to kind of make it a little more difficult than it would have otherwise been. Now the bag part, let's see what's going on here. Well, now that, ooh. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'm gonna say it's slash proof, I wonder why this strap wasn't just this material, to be honest, because look at this. Even with the bunch up, nothing. You seeing that? This stuff. There's my hand is underneath now. Should I do a full swing? What do you say there, brother? Oh my goodness. Whoa! Ah! I mean, like, I'm feeling it. So that part of it is definitely legit. Why is that so tough to cut? And then this strap is just looks like a kind of normal nylon with this metal, right? If you saw a bike lock that just had that kind of metal, you'd be a little bit skeptical. Nonetheless, I mean, listen, you're never gonna have something that's theft proof. I wanna see more stuff made out of this material. I just need to wear an outfit like this, you know? Do not use this bag for any type of personal or bodily protection. There goes that idea. Look, Jack. I'm stab proof. Why does this seem dangerous? Oh. Oh, I've punctured a little bit, but not completely. There's no hole on the other side. That material is cool. Is this what you've been waiting your whole life for? I seriously want to know. I want to see it in the top comment. 
I don't want to have to see this stupid spam comment anymore, all right? 